Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for differentiation, especially for the function trigo. Let's, we have the example, differentiate the function psi bracket, we have the function fx with respect to x. So can you focus on the external function, meaning that we have the psi. So if we differentiate the psi, we will have the cos. Then copy the function, internal function, continue. Next, focus on the internal function, Differentiate the fx. So we will have the f prime x. That is the basic for the trigger function sign. For another example, here we have the differentiate the function sine to the power of n. Then we have the internal function or the degree function fx with respect to x. So first, what we have to do is to focus on the power. Like usual, so focus on the power n. So, if we differentiate, we have the power n, we can bring forward. Then after that, we have to copy the basic structure, which is the sine bracket function fx. Then do remember, the n, we have to minus 1. Then, multiply with the internal function. If we differentiate the sine, then we have the cos. Copy the internal function. And then finally, differentiate the internal function fx. So, we have the f prime x. So kindly refers to the example. We have y is equals to sine to x. Differentiate y is equals to sine bracket to x. So dy dx is equals to if we differentiate the sine, so we will have the cos bracket 2x. Next, focus on the internal function 2x. If we differentiate and we will have 2. So rewrite dy dx is equals to 2 cos 2x. Extra example, let's say we have the y is equals to sine to the power of 3 bracket 2x. We can rewrite the situation y is equals to sine bracket 2x. Then we have the power 3 outside there. Let's begin. dy dx is equals to focus on the 3. So if we differentiate, so we have 3 bracket, we have sine bracket 2x bracket. So the 3 minus 1, so it becomes 2. Then, focus on the internal function, we have the sine. If we differentiate the sine, we will have cos bracket 2x. Next, focus on the internal function, 2x, so we will have the value 2. Rewrite the situation. So dy dx is equal to, if we multiply, we will have 6. Then we have sine squared bracket 2x. And then multiply with the cos bracket 2x. So that is the situation for the function sine. Or we can say the trigger function. Continue. Let's say we have b. y is equal to tangent bracket 3 minus 2x. So differentiate the situation dy dx. Focus on the tangent. If we differentiate the tangent, and we will have the second square bracket 3 minus 2x. Next. Focus on the internal function, 3 minus 2x. If we differentiate, and we will have the situation negative 2. Kindly rewrite the situation. So dy dx is equal to negative 2 multiplied with the second square bracket 3 minus 2x. So for the extra example, let's say we have y is equal to tangent. Continue, we have the square bracket 3 minus 2x. Differentiate the situation with respect to x. As we all know, we have to focus the power. So we have 2 bracket tangent bracket 3 minus 2x. So previously, we have squared. So now 2 minus 1, so it becomes 1. Continue. Focus on the internal function, which is the tangent. So if we differentiate the tangent, so we will have second square bracket 3 minus 2x. Continue. Focus on the internal function, 3 minus 2x. So we will have negative 2. Finally, rewrite the situation. So the dy dx is equal to negative 4. Multiply with the tangent, power 1, bracket 3 minus 2x. And then multiply with the second square, bracket 3 minus 2x. So basically, that is the example for differentiate the trigger function. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.